Hi, I'm Alex Jordan from Long Color Grading and FilmSimplified.com, and today we're going to be discussing the skin tone indicator, which is one of the most important tools in Resolve that helps you to get uh, correct skin tones. However, what a lot of beginners keep on asking all the time, which, which is pretty normal when you first start with it, is there is only one skin tone indicator in, in, in the Victor Scope in Resolve. However, there are many skin tones in real life, so how come we don't have different lines for different skin tones? So what is the skin tone indicator? Let's take a look at the Victor Scope in Resolve. So to get to the Victor Scope, I'll simply click here to open scopes. From this drop-down menu, I'll select Victor Scope. And if you click this icon here, you open the settings for the Victor Scope where you have the setting to show skin tone indicator. If I close it, this is the skin tone indicator line. So the Victor Scope shows you colors. For example, if you take a look at this image here, in this image there is the blue sky on top, and you can see the blue sky clearly uh, here in the Victor Scope. Um, this is the uh, red shirt represented here and these are his skin tones represented here so the vicroscope shows you what colors are in the image and what is the saturation of every color in the image it's, it's just as simple as that so the idea here is that if you isolate the skin tones in any way you want so you can isolate the skin tones using a window on the skin tones or using a qualifier like we're going to be using now the idea here is that if you isolate the skin tones, the vectorscope will show you only the colors of the skin tones, not the rest of the image. And the skin tones color should be, if it's correct, if the white balance is correct, the skin tones colors should be exactly on the skin tone indicator line. Before we continue, a very quick disclaimer here is that the skin tones should not be exactly on the skin tone indicator all the time. It should just be close to it or in the vicinity of the skin tone indicator. It's not like it should be there 100%, but that gives you a clear guideline for what your skin tones uh, in the image should be. The question I get a lot is which skin tones? Uh, because skin tones vary a lot from one person to the next so which skin tones should be on this line the answer is all of them all skin tones regardless of ethnicity race uh, time of year sometimes you would go get a tan all of the skin tones should be on this particular line the question is how can this be possible because uh, clearly when you look at skin tones they look different from one person to the next so how come the vectorscope sees them all as one value the idea here is that the vectorscope only sees hue you know uh, of the image so the color of the image like for example it distinguishes between red and blue and yellow however the vectorscope doesn't distinguish between brighter uh, blue and a darker blue for example shade it only sees blue and the saturation so let's take a look at an example here I have all these images of different people let's start by analyzing the skin tone of the first image by simply clicking the qualifier and clicking on the skin tone isolating only the skin tone of the image and take a look at the vectorscope. I'll increase saturation to make this more clear and note that the skin tones are very close to the skin tone indicator so this is the particular color of the skin tones let's move to this image now clearly a person from a different ethnicity however if I select the skin tone still and an increase saturation note that still the skin tones are on the same exact line and we move to the third person click here still very close to the line last person different ethnicity and still the skin tones are falling on the same exact line that's because the word color is very deceiving here what's happening is uh, hue is different than lightness different than saturation so, all uh, uh, skin tones are coming from the same exact hue. We all have the same exact hue for a skin tone. What's different is the saturation and uh, brightness. And because the vectorscope does not represent brightness at all, it only represents color values or hue 
values. What's happening here is that all the skin tones have the same exact hue, regardless of ethnicity or race. So next time you meet your racist friend, I'm not sure if you have one, just uh, guide him to the Victor scope in DaVinci Resolve. And just get rid of him. You should not have racist friends. Just, just keep that in mind. So if you like this, please visit us at uh, uh, filmsimplified.com where you can join one of our free DaVinci Resolve courses. Um, we have a crash course that gets you started with DaVinci Resolve for free. Uh, the crash course covers all the basics of every single tab in Resolve. Thank you. Filmsimplified.com